scrub a dub dub what's in the tub what's going on my scrub scribers ace here and today we are back with some more team builders and this is going to be for round two for the ccl now uh i'm playing the las vegas victinis which is zach's team this week and you guys will see my draft on the left there and zach's draft on the right uh, on the right right there that i'll go over so his team is composed of mega low punny which i really don't see him bringing as regular little punny but it is possible because it does get the um the ability is limber um that i think limber is probably the best one cute charms kind of meh because it's it's like situational limber is guaranteed you can't get paralyzed so he could kind of use that to his advantage if he really wanted to um landorus uh obviously like intimidator great there uh Reuniclus, yeah bulky uh sweet coon crobat zorark Amastar, gramble uh dustin war wait no it's just clops just clops i always get those names confused uh nine tails go go and Emogo. now looking over at his team i'm like okay looking at his team his team is really really quick and the zorark megalopunny and landorus make my team have a difficult time uh just kind of finding like a consistent like there's no easy way to win this battle uh, i just have to play extremely smart and play around his pokemon now on my team i have nothing that normally outspeeds a mega low punny so i had to bring uh i have to bring something specifically for that or i have to bring some types of speed control just to slow down his team uh obviously the crobat there's nothing i can do about the crobat really um well, in terms of speed, like I have to bring something specifically for that as well. Um, but I'm like even with speed control, like if I bring uh, sticky whips, as you guys can see up on uh, Levani there, uh, it's not going to affect the Crobat. So that's something I have to factor in as well. Now, um, as for walls, I really thought you know the things I have to majorly address are the Reuticlus, the Mega Little Punny, and the Zorark. I have to make sure that those Pokemon are addressed as well as the Suicune because I don't want it setting up on me. Um, so I needed something that can kind of handle that. So we'll go over the team that I'm, I'm bringing this week. So the first Pokemon that you guys can see up here is Loon with the Sticky Web, Leaf Bled, x and Heal Bell. Um, I decided to go Jolly Focus Sash because I felt, you know, getting a hit and then outspeeding, uh, I believe I needed the max speed just to outspeed uh, a couple Pokemon. I think, uh, Landorus, if it's, if it's not max, if it's a bulky wall one, I outspeed it with the max speed, um, if it is max speed as well. If it's just max HP, max speed, um, because like Ma Zach could really run max speed against a lot of my Pokemon because I have slower Pokemon like War Turtle, where uh, if he invests speed, uh, he outspeeds me. Um, even if he's a small investment of speed, uh, leave Andy will outspeed, and uh, I'll be in a good position there. Um, I really feel that uh, Levani's role is to get the sticky webs up, but it's not limited to that. Um, X Scissor really hurts both the Zoroark and the uh, Reuniclus for pretty good damage, and then Suicune as well with the Leaf Blade. Um, so I'm feeling really good there. And then, uh, as you guys can see, I have some other mons on my team that wouldn't really um, like status elements, especially uh, some of my walls. Uh, so I put the heal wheel on there just to kind of clear up some of those unsightly uh, status elements uh, that I don't really want on my team. Now, looking at Zach's team again, I saw that, um, you know, a lot of the Pokemon that he has really like to kind of take hits. So I needed a really powerful enforcer. So I brought uh, Bugger, the enforcer here of uh, Bugger. He is um, rocking the Excisor, Crunch, Iron Head, and Toxic. I decided on Toxic on there. You guys might be interested to wonder why. Um, because he has the Lando T. Um, so I really felt that I needed to have the Toxic there. Because if he brings it, it's definitely a swap in there. And if I can get a Toxic off and just have it slowly whittling down, um, it's I think it's, it's, it's worth it. Because um, like it, in the end there, like it, it, it's not the most viable set for 6v6, but in league format, this is definitely something that's super viable. And I could definitely see like him bringing in a lot of Pokemon that are affected, like especially like if he wants to bring in a wall and sack it off or something like that uh, against an Exes or something. A Toxic still is not that bad because like I swap in another Pokemon and it's still getting whittled down. So I think I'm in a pretty good position there as well. Now, um, as like in every ba every team you should have, you should have a physical enforcer and a special enforcer, and that's why I have War Turtle here. Uh, our Blastoise, um, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm putting nicknames on these ones because we do have a nickname series for this. So you know, I want to I want to win some nickname series. I'm not just gonna try and win this league. I'm gonna win some nick nickname uh, nickname glory out here. So I decided to bring a War Turtle from our Yellow LP out here. 
Um, but I decided to bring this as our rabbit spinner and uh, kind of special enforcer. I didn't really feel I needed the water stab because Ice Beam does take out Lando. Uh, the Dark Pulse is good for the Reuniclus and the Aura Spear is good for the Little Plenty as well as other things. And uh, Water Pulse, really the only thing it hits is the Gramble, but I'm really not going to try and stay in against the Gramble just because War Turtle does put in so much work against Zack's team that I really feel uh, kind of saving it for later and letting it kind of end game sweep uh, with its just monster special attack with the Mega Launcher boost. Last toy's gonna come with extensions like bra. <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, CTC uh, coming out with that line that was hot fire. But yeah, um, Mega Blast toys out here. War Turtle just being a monster. Uh, modest uh, max special attack, max HP. Just great set. Uh, lowering the attack down just so I don't get foul played. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much Blast toys there. I think it's gonna put in a lot of work this week. Um, I definitely think the rapid spin's good there because the Lendo T could come. And, uh, like, if I just fire off an ice beam, I can get the, like, plus is bulky enough to hit, I can get the rocks off. And then that allows for uh, my other mods to swap in for free, especially, uh, leave Andy High Feel is important to keep the focus ash up and, uh, get off these sticky webs. Okay, and then moving on to our next one is gonna be our, one of our walls here. Um, this is, I call it a generic wall because Amogus is probably one of the most generic walls. And anytime somebody sees it against my team, they know it's probably not gonna be like offensive or anything crazy it's it's a generic wall um so you know do i not adopt it um but uh we are running the clear spog spore giga drain and sludge bomb now uh interesting enough with uh this i know that zach has a zorark and he does have the reuniclus he does get overcoat so i have to watch out for that um i have to watch out for that being disguised because um Zorak really is a problem to my team, and this is the kind of thing that he would bring it in against because he can get a nasty plot fire, uh, fire blast off, especially if he's focused sashed. So I have to be careful like of when of sporing. So uh, this EV spread is specifically for knowing that I can live a plus one psychic of uh, after a call of mind from Reuniclus, uh, psychic or psy shock. Uh, the spread covers both, and the rocky helmet there is um, because we kind of like I felt that it was uh, necessary to put it on. Uh, the defensive side a little bit because Amoongus already has uh, like a little bit better special defense and that people might want to try and hit on the physical side um, specifically exact with his um with his mega low punny I can bring this in whittle it down with a rocky helmet a little bit and then just swap out and get my regenerator uh, clear smog is um, again for the uh, is again for the uh, the reuniclus uh, I don't want it setting up on me so I can just clear smog that away and I invested the uh, four speed on there uh, so that uh, I can outspeed the Reuniclus so I don't have to take a plus one psychic. I can just um, like clear it off and then save more amount of HP because I definitely feel it's more important there. Um, because this, this bond is kind of set up father for both Reuniclus and um, Zorg there so I'm, I'm not really trying to stay in against either one but if they are going to set up, like if I'm in a situation there I just have to clear smog and kind of address um, with one of my two sweepers of Bugger and War Turtle there. So moving on to my next, this this is kind of my answer to Zach Speedy Mons. It's not blue one, the Latias. <laughs> Great nickname. Um, Twist Scarf, uh, Trick, Psy Shock, Draco Meteor, and Ice Beam. Uh, overall, you know, I felt this Mon uh, with the Twist Scarf, it does outspeed um, Mega Little Pony. It does outspeed uh, Crobat. So uh, I felt it was a good position there. I put 220 speed because it's all I need to outspeed both of the uh, Mega Little Pony and the Crobat. Uh, so I felt in a good position there. Psy Shock uh, one hit KOs uh, with the EV spread here um, of modest uh, special uh, max special attack, and then uh, with speed creeping I only needed like so much speed to outspeed them both. So I just put the rest in HP just to like you never need know when you need a little extra bulk and living on one HP is always great. Um, but yeah, uh, this thing I really have to be careful because it does get like even with that uh, HP spread, it still gets um, one shot by a pursuit if I try to swap out. Uh, so I can't. I have to be careful of trying to get um, trying to get trapped in by the Zorark because even revenge killing things with uh, this is a little bit risky because he can just bring that in and pursue me, and uh, Sucker Punch will pull me back either way. So like attacking isn't great, <laughs> swapping out isn't great. So I really just don't want this thing to be in against uh, Zorark at all, especially yeah no at all. I just don't want this. Uh, but yeah, this thing, uh, I felt the trick was important because if Zach decides to bring, uh, like a slower team and decides to bring like a trick room team or something like that and, uh, set up for Suicune Sweep with Calm Minds or, um, the Arena as well, I can trick on into a Scarf. So you can, you can Calm Mind or rest up all you want, like, you're, you're stuck doing it <laughs> and you have to swap out eventually. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of like what Nablu's 
kind of role is there. It's to address kind of problems that I have. Uh, the Draco Meteor is for power, and then the Ice Beam is for the Lando because High Shock won't hit it for uh, great damage there. And uh, Ice Beam's neutral, like, or yeah, it's neutral for uh, Dark type. Uh, so if the Zorak does come in, maybe I can hit it up after I get some uh, some damage on it already and kind of KO it and keep it from killing my Latias. Hopefully, Jesus. I think I think it's I think it's terrifying to my team. Um, but moving on to our physical wall here, which is going to be hot pockets. Yum. Um, but uh, we, uh, I uh, invested this thing max HP, max defense because I really need that for the Mega Little Pony. Um, it's Mega Little Pony does uh, present a good problem to this. So this is kind of a Mega Little Pony set uh, built like specifically for. Uh, it has a will whip, will switch, paint split, and protect. Uh, protect specifically for high jump kick because I know that um, return isn't a uh, 2k KO after leftovers recovery um, with a max attack. Oh, well, like an adamant uh, low pony uh, doesn't 2k KO it after leftovers. So the protect there um, is good because uh, if I come in on, say, stealth rocks, a high jump kick will kill me in one hit. So I have to have that protect there. So if he tries to go for it, I can punish him for it and force him to take 50% uh, of his health. Or, well, yeah, or it's like half your health, like starting out. Um, and I think that'll be really good, um, especially being able to get off like a Willow if he tries to go like, cause it basically forces him to have to go for returns and then I can just get off a Willow and then he's doing nothing to me and then I can paint split up off of him. And I'm just in a fantastic position there. But yeah, I think uh, overall this team uh, from beginning to end really just addresses a lot of the things that um, Zach's team has for me. And uh, if you guys, you know, agree or disagree, if you think there's something I could have done better in this team builder, I felt like addressed everything pretty well you know these spreads are good speed creep pretty well um overall but if you guys disagree if you think there's something that i i didn't address that i should have addressed make sure to leave it down in the comment section below and you know maybe in future weeks i'll uh i'll consider that as well but thank you guys so much for watching that's going to be it for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure you hit that like button subscribe and uh tweet it out to your friends uh bring some hype to the ccl and like i did mention uh, i put nicknames on these mods because I we do have a series it's called the pick'em crew or no it's not called the pick'em crew well the pick'em crew is uh one of our series where they pick who they think is going to win each matchup but it's got to be uh, what is our nickname series okay th there's a nickname series and it features Zach and Kendra and it's on our our channel and it's really really fun I, I enjoyed it a lot and I just am blanking the name because I'm terrible with names but you guys should definitely go check that out I'll probably link it down in the description um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Bye-bye.